Next year marks 130 years of West Ham. Well, Thames Ironworks, obviously, when it first formed, 1895, and then now, obviously, West Ham United. It's, it's, it's a special year, big year, big commemorative year for the club, and it's what's, what's really important with these things is they, the club get it right, do you know what I mean, and just mark these occasions properly. We, you know, we are a, a real um, historic football club, and we love to... Uh, look back and and very proud of our history and bloody rightly so as well, you know. So it's I always find it's really important. And do you know what? I, I think that over the years, you know, especially in recent years, West Ham have always been pretty good actually at sort of marking those sort of landmark dates, you know what I mean? And in years um to get get the occasions right and the way that they celebrate it and the way that they um get the kits and stuff um correct to uh, mark those occasions, um, especially you know, if you think to the, fo- the farewell bowling kit. I just thought that was a beautiful moment and and kit and the way they did, did the badge that year and the collar and just everything about it. And obviously, it was a wonderful season as well, really special. Um, you know, I always sort of keep looking back to that that game against Manchester United. Of course, the final game just couldn't have been written any better. Really, just a magical moment. So next year is going to be it's quite big, really. I think that you know there's a bit of pressure on the club. We've got to get it right. And one thing that has been suggested, it has been suggested for quite a long time by quite a fair few fans now, is wanting to see change when it comes to our kit um, in terms of the manufacturer. Um, I personally, right, I've got no problem with Umbro. Quite like a bit of Umbro. I think they're, I think they're all right. They've done, they've done a bad job. I think they've done a pretty decent job over the years uh, for us. I know some of them have been a bit iffy. Um, I will say that. Not A few little bits and pieces I've not been overly thrilled with. But on the whole, personally, I think they're pretty decent. I think they've been a pretty um, slick at times when it comes to how they've um, designed certain kits for us and the way that they've sort of paid homage to the past. I quite like the way they do that. Um, I really do. I, I think that there is a lot to admire about them, actually. And I quite like the fact we've, we've, we're sticking with them. And that's what this is about. So we've had an update um, uh, today. It's just sort of gone for a while. So as, well, as I recall this, this will be yesterday now. Um, in that West Ham are going to stick with Umbro for at least another year, sign a deal that Umbro are going to be taking on the kit design for our 130 years. I, I tell you what, I think they deserve to. Because people say, well, you know, wouldn't you rather have Nike or Adidas? Adidas, I mean, I, I like Adidas actually as a brand, right? Personally, I think they're pretty decent. But I never really bought into the Adidas kits of late. With, uh, they weren't really my favourite. I found they were a little bit too much. Nike, I really don't like as a football manufacturer. I think some of the kits are shocking that you see other teams wear i mean look at tottenham's kits and stuff like that. i mean some of them are awful all right i don't say they're all bad but I, some of them i just don't like i think they i think they tend to use the sort of same template for each club i just hate to change the colors around i just i just don't like i'm not a big fan of them not a big fan so that wasn't really for me uh under armor was another one that fans have been suggesting wouldn't be a bad uh, choice but all i'm saying is that you look at the other manufacturers none of them there's not many that jump out at me that go that's the kit for us that's the, you know that's the manufacturer i really want so i kind of i'm happy with actually stick with umbro and that is going to be the case now and, and as i say there's a fair bit of pressure on them to get this right because it's important you know we we're we're um, we're a club that's lost uh, our home you know it's and it's and it still hurts it's still and it will do for a long time and obviously it's it's certainly softening there's no toys about that in because you know we're moving forward and we've you know the London Stadium is our home now it's been our home for quite a while but I think that when you get moments like this where uh, like anniversaries etc it's really important that these manufacturers understand the importance of our history and I think Umbro do that. I actually do think that they spend the, their time at, uh, researching our past and looking into what matters. And in terms of you know the location, East London, and, and things like that, I always I've always actually found them to be pretty decent in that regard. And I, I've got real, really no problem with it. I actually feel like well, they can be trusted with delivering a really decent kit to mark that 130 years. So Sean Winston's come out and confirmed that is the case. Um, XWH employee, as I recall this, is going to be um, doing an update later on. So we'll get a bit more details on not just the fact that Umbro are doing the kit, but also maybe some ideas of what that's going to look like. I mean, it's still very early days. We've still got our new kit at the moment, haven't we? So it's a little bit too early to be talking about designs in too much detail. But it'd be interesting to know, wouldn't it? I mean, being 130 years, I really hope that 
it is something that they look back on and go for a very classic West Ham design. I mean, like this season, I've always kept saying this. I really like the white shorts, white socks. It's just West Ham, claret body, blue arms and white, white. I think that is the West Ham look. I really like it. Um, I'd rather them just stick with that all the time. To be honest. But I appreciate, you know, there's few, they do like to change things up a little bit. Um, but when it comes to um, this kit in particular, being the 130 years, please don't tamper with it. Do you know what I mean? Don't start trying to be do something, modernise something that doesn't need modernising. Do you know what I mean? I really don't want to see an all claret kit again or blue and blue. I didn't like that. I want to see white and white. So in terms of the shorts and the, the socks. So, yeah, interesting. It's going to be um, one that I think will mean a lot to fans. I always think these things do. I mean, kits are important. I know, you know, ultimately it all really matters how they play in it. Let's be honest. That's what we really want to see. But it, when it comes to these moments and when it comes to how we're represented in terms of how we look, I think it is important. And I, I know some fans will disagree with this, but I actually think Umbra have been pretty good. I think they've been an all right manufacturer for us. I've, I've got no desire really to see it change. Now, you wouldn't bother if we did, but I really want to avoid Nike, you know. But apparently, according to Whetstone, um, the club have explored other avenues. They have been looking at other manufacturers, um, Nike being one of them, Adidas, look at Pots Pots return to them. Um, I think that it's a, um, is it Kappa, Fila, always, all the other, a few other um, manufacturers and seeing whether we would go back or, or to work with them uh, as a new um, partnership. But Umbro were there. They, 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 they spoke to them again and they've decided to extend their deal. So I think we're going to have Umbro for the foreseeable. I really don't see why West Ham would change it unless there's obviously a, a financially huge, alter, a better alternative for the club to go down. But I don't really see a, a desire to it. I think they've done all right for us. And as I said, so yeah, Umbro will be doing the 130th um, kit, 130th year anniversary kit next season, which will be interesting. We will be getting some more updates on it, exactly how it looks and we can get a bit of a feel for it. That's also going to come from, from XWHU employee. But as I say, Sean Whetstone's confirmed that is the case now. Umbro are going absolutely nowhere. Come on, your minds. 